Well, it looks like Coyote vs. Acme is in danger of getting completely deleted for an effing tax write-off again, and Warner Brothers is the single most incompetently run company in America. I've wanted to see this movie for decades. I hear it turned out really good from test screenings, but Warner Brothers is just gonna delete it! Wait, you say? A decade? What's going on with this movie? Okay, so back in the 90s, a writer named Ian Frazier wrote a story called Coyote v. Acme, wherein Wiley Coyote sued the Acme Corporation for faulty products. The moment I heard that premise, I said, Man! I want to see that! I hope they make that into something! Skip ahead to 2023, I, I'm googling for movie showtime and what? Coyote vs. Acme is supposed to be coming out soon? They're making a movie? Directed by James Gunn and starring John Cena? Oh, wait, why didn't no one tell me this? I heard nothing about this movie. But it was pushed back due to Barbie stealing its spot. Didn't want to compete with Barbenheimer. And then news comes out that Warner Brothers was just going to delete the movie and make it a tax write-off. This led to backlash, and so Warner let the crew try to shop the movie around to other distributors, with Netflix and Paramount both interested. Well, it seems time is up. Warner is refusing their offers and insisting that they pay $80 million for a movie they spent $30 million to make. It was non-negotiable. Take it or leave it. How? Why? It's all a fog, with Warner execs not wanting to clarify anything. All reports from test screenings claim the movie is great, so what the heck is going on? The best anyone has is that this film was being made by the old regime. Only a single person that okayed this movie still works at Warner Brothers, so maybe it's that. The hashtag release Coyote vs. Acme trended on Twitter for a bit, but it's questionable if it'll actually work. Though, someone did make a petition, which you I'll link and you can sign in the desperate hopes that it does work. I mean, what have you got to lose, right? Now, it's here that a smug, cynical person would say, Psh, this is probably just a marketing campaign to get people to see the movie. And you know what? I don't care. In fact, I hope it is, because this movie needs marketing. Warner is astonishingly bad at marketing. Did you know Space Jam A New Legacy wasn't revealed with a teaser trailer or announcement, but instead with a contest asking people to design an Xbox game? Warner couldn't market water in a desert, which is what we have here. Movies haven't been doing great. Writer and actor stripes kneecapped releases and everything Warner has put out with a big budget has bombed. They could use a success and Coyote vs. Acme could be that success. Here's the thing. Everyone I tell the premise to, Wiley Coyote sues Acme for faulty products. Every single person I tell that to, young and old, goes, oh yeah, I'd see that. It's such an easy sell. And instead they'll just delete it? Sure wouldn't be the first time. Everyone, of course, brings up the unreleased Batgirl movie. But before that, there was, of course, Infinity Train. But you want an older gut punch? Why do you think we haven't seen anything out of Megas XLR? Yeah, same fate. Tax write-off. You see, for some reason, if you shelf a release never to be seen again, never making money off it again, never even referencing it again... You can get money back on your taxes? I have no effing clue why this is a thing you can do, but Warner Brothers loves doing it. If I had my way, I'd change this law immediately. It's disgusting. Throwing away people's hard work and art for chump change? Just generating lost media? No. If I could, I'd change it to anything you make as a tax write-off, the government gets to make money off of. Just makes more sense. Make back those taxes by producing Megas XLR box sets. Of course, I don't know anything about law, so I might be an idiot, but I stand by my idiocy, dang it. Also, yes, this means this actually isn't a Zaslav thing. It's not that Discovery bought Warner and things got way worse. No, Warner was already a dumpster fire, and Discovery just made things slightly more of a dumpster fire. Right now, Fire David Zaslav is trending on Twitter, although for some reason it's not in the suggested hashtags, despite many people using it. But no, David Zaslav didn't tax write off Megas XLR. Warner has been doing this stupid thing for a while now, and goodness knows what other things they've done it to. But you want to know what's even more wild? You ever hear of The Day the Earth Blew Up? Yeah, neither had I. It's the first fully animated theatrical Looney Tunes movie ever. In more than 90 years, there has never been a just plain Looney Tunes movie. The ones that exist were just mashups of older cartoons with connecting bits and, of course, the live-action animation combinations. 
this would be the first one to just be full hand drawn. Yes, feature length, fully hand animated Looney Tunes movie coming to theaters this year. You'd think you would have heard about it, right? Well, come to find out, Warner did the same thing with that movie, except it panned out. The Day the Earth Blew Up was supposed to be a made-for-TV movie for Cartoon Network and HBO Max. It got finished, and they said, nah, tax write-off. But then some company called GFM Animation picked it up and is releasing it theatrically. So Warner isn't even making money off their own Looney Tunes movie? Other than the initial sales price? Either way, it's looking pretty great. There's an early clip from last year floating around online. It looks so nostalgically 90s. Like, this lady here looks like she stepped out of the Animaniacs, also loving Petunia's hair. I 100% plan on supporting this film to try and send the message that we need more theatrical 2D animation and that Warner needs to stop misusing the Looney Tunes to try and make them realize they're idiots. But Warner is too incompetent to realize they're incompetent. It's at this point you might say, how the heck are they still in business? To which the answer is they're... Kinda not. Warner Brothers has shot themselves in the foot and been bought by other companies so many times, it's actually absurd. Yikes! And away! Yikes! And away! Yikes! And away! Yikes! And away! They've effectively been caught in an infinite cycle of going out of business, getting bought, then going out of business again. They are, in fact, hopeless. Still want to see Coyote vs. Acme, though. Actually, no, one more thing. You know what's gonna really suck? If they truly are completely deleting the film, which they supposedly are, then when they realize they're idiots and make a new Coyote vs. Acme, there'll be this question of, was the original better? Heck, Every Looney Tunes movie is going to be a question of, but was Coyote vs. Acme better than this? For all time, an eternal question that may never be answered, largely because the only people who've seen it are the staff, their friends and family, and some investors. And the answer will always be yes, because the best things are the ones that are never released. It isn't until a movie comes out and you can actually watch it that anyone can properly judge the blasted thing. Until then, it will be a phantom regarded as one of Warner Brothers' biggest mistakes. But, you know what? The tiniest, slightest bit of hope we have is the fact that they did release the Snyder Cut, so maybe? Anyway, this is Gel. You've been game babbled. Sign the petition, because screw it, why not? Gosh darn it, I want to see this movie. See ya.